Once you've made your mosaic, Painter also gives you a way to make a selection of all of the tiles that are in your mosaic. In this case, we have over 5,000 tiles. That would be really hard to do all on your own, but Painter in the Make Mosaic dialog box has a Render Tiles into Mask option. You'll see, if you look in your Channels palette, that you get two mosaic masks. They're identical. You get to use them any way you want. I can click on the load selection. I'm going to choose from Mosaic Mask. Say OK. And you can see marching ants around every single one of those tiles. I'm going to hide those marching ants so you can see what happens when I work with them by doing a Control or Command Shift H to hide the selection. The selection is still open and it's still ready to work. So if I now grab one of the brushes, I can actually paint just on the tiles and not on the grout because of that active selection. I show that selection again using a shift control or command H and now I delete the selection using command or control D you can see that this area right here has been painted on. I'm going to undo that and we're going to use the uh, mosaic mask in another way. We're going to the effects we're going to go Surface Control, Apply Surface Texture. And you'll see in the Using drop-down, we have, normally, you see it as paper, but we're now going to use the Mosaic Mask. And click OK. And you can see now, if I zoom in, that these tiles have a bit of dimension to them. So let's go and change that um, grout color back to black. Say done. And zoom out. And now you have a mosaic with tiles that have some dimension. You can also load your selection, make mosaic mask, or using the mosaic mask, click OK. And now using the the drawing icons down at the bottom of your image window, I'm going to use the middle one that says paint everything that's outside of the selection. So I'm going to now grab another brush and we'll pick a color. I'm going to go Shift Command H and start painting in yellow. And now I'm painting in yellow and you can see the only thing that's being changed is the actual grout color. Shift Command H, there's your selection, Control D, and you can see that the only area that's been painted on has been the grout.